Hi, my name is Chris Hart. I'm a cartoonist, and I'm an author of many books on how to draw cartoons, and animals, and manga, and all sorts of things, figure drawing. And so this is a new book of mine called Modern Cartooning, and it has lots of interesting things in here. I think you really enjoy it. Uh, that's published by Random House. And this guy is showing something that well, it's been called out to me that people would like to know how to do this sort of thing. It's this crossed arm pose. And it's important because look, I mean, look at all the expression this guy gets out of crossing his arms. I mean, he, he's just so annoying. He's perfectly annoying. He's wonderfully annoying. So let's find out how to make, let's find out how to annoy all of our viewers. We'll start with a guy like this. And the reason is because it's a little, it has to do with the mechanics. I want to show you mechanics of how to draw this, and it's a little easier. It's actually easier if I do it in a little more realistic cartoon character. We start with a shoulder right, right in here. This is a shoulder joint. Come down here, the elbow. And that's still pretty big. All right, we're gonna overlap that over the forearm. And sink that hand and tuck that in over here to the far arm. So we're gonna bring off, bring this arm off the shoulder, off the torso, like so. See how that's making sense now? Now what we're doing is, we're overlapping here and adding a fold. And that's called a pocket fold. It creates a little pocket in here. See how this is bent, because this is winding around the contour of the other arm. Elbow, sharp point here. We bring that as a fold toward the shoulder. Here's the shoulder and also comes down and winds around the arm. Notice that not everything is straight on the body. The human body head looks straight, many things like the arms and the legs, but they're not. Those little subtleties really help it. Also bring this this up a little bit, the other hand starts to poke out from under here. And we'll add a little bit of shading down here too. We can also add the collar and a tie if you like. Going along the center line. This could be a, a vest. Well, actually, I've already drawn it for you, so I'd like to show you what it looks like when it's finished. So that's this turns into that. And so let's have a little fun now with this basic principle that we learned and put it back on this little screwy guy here. So we'll start, I'm gonna color him in for us, so have a little fun. We'll uh, use some markers here. I love using markers. It's my favorite, favorite material. I know it's kind of, it's not, uh, it's, uh, not the most modern way to color something. It's not software, but boy, is it, it's still fun. It's really fun. So I'll use a marker here, and I'm going to give him kind of a lime green shirt. The black stripe goes with any color. Any color takes a black stripe. So if you're kind of if you want to use variety, but you're not sure and you don't want to like ruin the drawing because you're you know worried that you're going to make a bad combination, use a black stripe. Now a lot of people have a hesitancy. Now at this point they think, well, I got to use another color. I mean, I've got to. Because if you use another green, it's going to be too close. Not so. Actually, sometimes using a variation of the main color is a really cool look. It doesn't cause, you know, the eyes to strain. You're already used to the green, but it adds another kind of, just another hue off the same color. Um, so we're going to give him some bright, bright hair, and that's because I want him to be energetic. If I give him brown here, he would be a little more subdued. I want to kind of add some voltage to this guy. Let's get this going. What do you think? Am I going to make it or am I going to run out of ink? Got it! I feel like Chekhov on my Starship Enterprise. Got it, Captain. Okay, last thing. Orange goes well with lime green. It's just, it does. It's a combination, it's a popular combination. So we're gonna give a little touch of that down here. Just a little touch of it, a little accent. All right, there we go. So there's a fun guy for us, crossed arms and everything. 
I hope that was helpful to you. I've got a lot of videos. I got over a hundred of them. Just check the backlog on my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.